Hello, Otokano here. How are you today? I am back with a Plan With Me March 2018, and this is my previous monthly spread in February. And as you can see in big writing, I, had, I lost two weeks this month basically. February was a wipeout because I got ill and I was literally bedridden up till about here <laughs> and then slowly started to be able to do stuff but yeah basically it was a wipeout there's not much to show in terms of a February update because of this there was there was a couple of things one was I was having a really bad day one of the days in this week and um, I was I had a kind of a boring and complicated task to do and you know how I like to keep things rough and simple and easy but on this occasion I actually printed up the page and took time to plan it out and draw it with some nice pens and I have to say the um, decorating or you know making it more pretty and neat did help me on this instance in that just it just made the whole process a bit more interesting and fun for me and it definitely got me through so I I mean I've never been against the pretty ones I just thought it wasn't for me and I didn't like it but no no I think it has a its place in my journey life so that's new Another thing was that I decided to change up my dinner plan into a vertical weekly spread and this is working out really well for me. It makes everything easy to plan and to see so I think I will definitely be sticking to this for a good while longer. Before I move on to my match journal I wanted to show you a couple of new tools I got for my bullet journal. One is this Tombow, I think, 18 color pastel set. It's the drill brush ones, well, the brush tip on one end and bullet nail on the other end. And I've always wanted the Tombow brush pens because they look great or in other people's journals and I've always eyed them up but they're quite expensive so I didn't think I'd ever get one for my own bullet journal however I found these in the clearance section at Cassart's website and they weren't quite half price but they were you know pretty near to half price of the listed price in Amazon so I thought I'm gonna grab these and I'm really happy with these colors I'll show you color swatches I don't like really bright colors in my bullet journal because I feel like they distract your attention from doing what you need to do in a bullet journal but I'm really happy with these I've been playing around with it um, in the last couple of weeks so you will be seeing more of these and my bullet journal might actually get colorful the second set of tools I got are these Tombow Mono drawing pens. So this was what I was using before the industry standard Sakura Pigma Micron pens. But I always found that I had to really press hard to get a nice line. However, with these, it's so much easier. So yeah, these are gonna take over my bullet journaling pens from now on. Now on to the journal itself, for March I am going to be using this little beauty. Again, it's a Loitram A5 lined, it's in the, I think they call it the turquoise? I thought this was nice and springy because I'm dying for the spring now. And so I went for the nice bright springy green colour. Now we are going to very quietly and very quickly go past the fact that the index page is the new style which I don't like or that they changed the line colour to a dark colour because I think I've ranted about the new style of Loisham notebooks plenty in my previous videos. So let's get on with the spreads themselves. 
Not much has changed from my February setup in that I start off the month with the eight weeks plan. Again, this is just a quick reminder what I'm supposed to be doing each week and it just keeps me uh, on target to where I want to be by the end of the year. And then here's my March monthly spread. Again, this I use for all my social media tracker to note down what videos and social media stuff I've done rather than for schedule because as you guys all know I have a online calendar that I share with my husband and I, I am starting to try out little brush letterings they're harder than they it looks on YouTube you guys make it look way easier than it is so kudos to you guys and again it's kind of orangey kind of summery springy color and then my march growth tracker uh, i'm tracking watch time and subscribers on youtube and then followers on instagram and twitter and sales now last month i had like things i did for the business thing which i didn't end up using because I was too busy doing the stuff and never quite getting around to noting down those things on a separate page. So instead, I am going to have a March haul list since I am going to be making, you know, a haul video each month of the art supplies I got that month. So this is a great place to keep track of the things I buy during the month because I can't remember what I bought last week, let alone like in four weeks time so this will be a great list for me and then here's the meal plan and this is the thing I am changing up from last month in that instead of doing the meal plan each week in next blank page is happened to be I have decided to have all the menu plans at the front where I can find them easily I tried using just one color per week for the table instead of the two-tone thing I tried in February and I don't know I think I think I like the two-tone better so maybe in April I'll go back to two-tone but for now this will do for this month and I tried to choose nice springy colors that are still muted because I much prefer muted colors in my bullet journal which is strange because in painting I really like bright colors but in my bullet journal muted is my way then as usual my weekly task page which I save four pages for just in case broken down into creative tasks and business tasks and I've just started a little section called videos for videos that I uh, have started and haven't finished or is, I just want to keep at the front of my mind to make sure those videos are starting to happen and that's it for March and week 9 of 2018 as I said not huge change just little tweaks here and there like the menu plans and the March haul list besides that it's pretty much as I had it in February. I hope this video was useful to you if you are looking to do a minimal and easy fast bullet journaling spreads. If you have any questions about my setup or my new tools or my notebook or anything please ask away in the comments. I love talking about bullet journaling so I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.